they say that if you sleep with the uh, the sheepskin with the head toward the, your your own head facing outward during the night, it might take off with you. <laughs> Uh, one of the uh, things that we use for our bedding in the traditional way was uh, a bedding that's called yatkesh. And yatkesh is actually uh, the skin of any animal. It could have been the skin of buffalo or the skin of uh, elk or deer or um, even a moose. They is what they call the moose. But uh, in more recent times, uh, we have begun to use the uh, sheepskin or the goat skin. Now, this is the goat and the pe is uh, the sheep. So we use the, the skin after it is uh, tanned out a little bit and keeping the fur on the, on the skin, we use it for bedding. And uh, during the nighttime, inside of the hogan, everybody would roll out the yatkech, and uh, you sleep with the uh, the sheep head. The head of the sheep is at your feet, so it's toward the fire or to the center of the hogan, and that's how you sleep on a, a sheepskin. They say that if you sleep with the uh, the sheepskin with the head toward the, your your own head facing outward during the night it might take off with you. So they always say make sure that you put the, the sheepskin down so that the head is toward the uh, center of the hogan and your your head is toward the tail portion of the skin of the, the sheep or the goat. But uh, skin is very important. Now other things that the uh, wool from the sheep is used for of course is the making of the, uh, the rugs, the, uh, the rug weavers. After a sheepskin gets too old, then you take it and you just remove the, uh, the wool from the skin. And other uses are put, uh, are used uh, for the skin that is the, uh, after the uh, wool is removed. Now the other thing I was going to mention is that uh, during the daytime, you remove the sheepskin from the hogan and you hang them outside and let them air out. And the, uh, some of the early things that they encountered when our people would have a lot of problem with their hearing is that uh, some kind of um, small insect would uh, hide in the sheepskin and they would get into your ear at nighttime and uh, do some damage in there. So it was uh, that you'd have, when you were growing up, you had a lot of ear aches. And, so, and when you would, uh, experience a time when you would begin to lose your hearing and the older the older you became and so I have that problem because I used to sleep on sheepskins when I was growing up so this is the yatke or the pepekake in some cases we've used the uh, the goat skin uh, the uh, teaching of our people about the sheep uh, our people were always familiar with the bighorn sheep, and we called them Nairaji, which is the, uh, the wild uh, uh, bighorn sheep that lived in the mountains. So one of our sacred mountains is uh, called the Bensa, which is the sacred mountain to the north, which would be the uh, um, Mount Hesperus, just uh, north, uh, east of uh, present-day uh, Cortez, Colorado. But the uh, sheep were probably ones that were taken from the Spaniards, the ones that became domesticated. And the, the Neh were really grateful for that and they adapted to using it. And, and it was not unusual for some of our, our people to have as many as a, uh, a thousand or two thousand head of sheep at one time, but uh, there was a problem with overgrazing, and there's an, a time in our history when, under a superintendent or an Indian agent named Collier, um, John Collier, that he ordered that they exterminate and kill many, many of the sheep. They just went out and slaughtered them, and it's a very uh, sad time in the history of our people. 
But uh, those are the things that we are told. Yeah,